Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Mahogsar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited now. I wonder what kind of lord we're gonna find there. It doesn't matter. If they try to get in our way, we'll take them down and that'll be that. <sighs> this thing. Well then, let's keep moving. A fish! You saw it too, right? I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done.
Now, where might those fish be? Nothing's biting. <laughs> Time to try a different spot. There we go. Jack Nabbit, it got away. Looks like I lost it. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara? I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicent. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay!
I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. <sighs> hey. Hmm? Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're gonna keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? Uh, she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicente. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Gisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound alright by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth Elemental Beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Did we re really just spend that much money?
I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Why are you looking at me like that? That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menensian Guard, right? Originally, I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed, especially with that open back. We Guardsmen pride ourselves on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of making myself live up to that. Plus, it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? Every Guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, La? Huh? Why are you asking me? Should definitely keep you guys full. You okay, Shion? You're not eating very much. What's wrong? Do you not like the cheese fondue that you made? Yeah, I'm used to seeing you more excited about food. You're not feeling sick, are you? No, I'm fine. It's nothing like that. It's just... What? I guess I just don't understand what the appeal is. We could just as easily put everything on a plate and pour the cheese on top of it instead. I suppose it lies in being able to decide exactly how much cheese you want. There's also something to be said for enjoying how it all turns out. It's fun. That's fine and all, but I wish the plate to mouth time was shorter. I think I understand. You don't like having to put in so much effort into eating something, do you? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Actually, now that I think about it, you're a way less fussy eater than you look, Xion. In my book, there's no one right way to eat a meal. Tuck in, take your time, be dainty or devouring. As long as you enjoy the food, that's what counts. There's no need to stand on ceremony while we're out camping in the wilderness. E yeah, you're right. In that case, don't mind if I do. I've never seen someone dump that much cheese on a meal before. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Miguel was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the Guard. Now, it's just a part of my routine. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a Guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down to earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. You're more an idealist than some pie in the sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Before we go, do you guys have everything?
Looks like we made it here in one piece. There's something in the water. Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. That's a bit of a letdown. Nice work! Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. Fishers always keep their cool. Get you next time. <laughs> oh, we've got a lively one. I'll get you next time. Reel it in. Anybody could reel in that. You sure know what you're doing. There we go. Yeah. 
I'll get you next time. is way bigger than I was expecting. Remarkable. You're top of the food chain. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Too, right? Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. <clears throat> Per se. Looks like a pretty energetic fish. That wasn't much of a challenge. That went pretty well. is way bigger than I was expecting. Oh, yeah! Huh. 
There we go. Anybody could reel in that. You sure know what you're doing. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Want something to munch on, Hoodle? This shall suffice. Please, everyone, have as much as you like. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Sorry for rambling on so much about my past earlier. Don't sweat it. It was fun hearing you reminisce about the good old days. Come on, you don't have to pretend with me. I know I can tend to... go on sometimes, when it comes to my brother. You said it, not me. Anyway, I don't think it's something for you to be embarrassed about. <clears throat> hey, Alfin. When you were a kid, was there ever a time when... You had to bury someone younger than you? Well, it's hard to say. I'm guessing that you have, though. Yeah. During the previous crown contest with the Lord before Dohalim. Life back then was... truly hell. <clears throat> I think... that's why I tried to ignore what Migal was telling me for so long. Because I was afraid of going back to such a dark time. Of losing hope. I wanted to believe in our paradise so much that I doubted the one person I should have trusted most. I don't blame Lord... blame Dohalim for that. I simply didn't want to face facts. And I ended up trying to project my ideals onto everyone else. It's strange. Whenever you and Dohalim talk about Menensea, it's always like it's some big failure. We're talking about fixing 300 years' worth of damage here. Isn't it a bit optimistic to think it was all going to be resolved after only five? You might be right. Maybe it was a mistake when Menencia... No. When I decided to stop seeing the darkness in our society. I have to admit the truth. To myself, first of all. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Rise and shine. We're almost ready to leave. <laughs>